Okay, we're going to be doing a test of this range of products, which is Chuck It. It's a range of dog toys, and it's the small size that I'm testing here, which is about four and a half centimeters in diameter, the balls. So let's just have a look at this one. This is the Chuck It Sport 14. It's the actual ball launcher. It comes with a Chuck It tennis ball in small size. I've gone for small size because that's the size that fits in Eva's mouth. It's quite positive in the way that it picks up the ball, which should be good. The ball launcher we had before was actually struggling to do that. So later on, we'll take this to the park and we'll give it a test. Okay, so we're going to test out the Chuck It Sport 14. Are you ready, Eva? You sound like you might be ready. Okay. Let's go for it. Yeah, right, 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 right. right. Here right. we go then. Oh, overshot a little bit there. This one holds onto it for a bit longer than the old one did, and so I launched it straight at the ground. Not much use. Let's try that again. Pretty good, but you have to artificially stop it to launch the ball. It has a tendency to launch downwards, and it's because of this hooked top. Okay, okay. Right, quiet you. Quiet. Wait, just wait. Okay, let's watch that again. Yeah, might take a little bit of practice, I think. I'm going to turn the camera off now. Okay, so we took the Chuck It Sport 14 to the park and gave it a test. And, well, it's interesting. I like that it grips the ball really well because picking it up off the ground... Oh, this is soaking wet. I'm just going to go and dry this. Actually, no, I'm not going to bother. It picks the ball up really well because that's a problem we had with the previous ball thing, which is... This one, which is just an unbranded, cheapy one that we picked up on the market or in a pet store somewhere. Obviously the design is very similar. Form follows function, I guess. But this one was a bit more open and actually had a tendency to not pick up the balls, especially when we use a different design of ball, such as this one, which is the Chuck It Breathe Right Airflow Ball that was actually quite difficult to pick up from grass using the old flinger. This thing picks them up okay but actually I think it maybe grips them a little bit too tightly and as a result when you're using this thing to fling the ball you kind of have to flick it and bring it to an abrupt stop for the ball to come out whereas with this one you could just follow through and it would release the ball at the top of the arc and the ball would fly off. This one you have to snap it to a stop and that does generate a longer throw but at the same time it also puts a bit, a fair bit of strain on your arm which is uh, uncomfortable after just a few throws. So what else about this? It looks to me like they've got a two-part moulding here so that looks like a fibreglass core in there and then over moulded with a softer flexible plastic which does give it more spring and resilience than we've seen on the other cheapy one and that's good a little bit unimpressed with the quality of the molding here so a bit of flash left there which is just plastic where it's seeped out in between the two halves of the mold I wouldn't normally complain about that except it's right where your finger lands here when you're holding it and so there's a sharp piece of plastic just sticking out there where your finger's going to touch it. Now of course all that's needed is a sharp knife and we just trim that off but that should have been done in the factory really because I'm making a mess of this now. There we go that's all it took is just a little bit of a, a trim there with a sharp knife but as I say that should that should be done in the factory really that's not a job for the consumer to have to worry about. So all in all 
I, I guess I'd give this, I don't know, six or something out of 10, because it's a good idea. It's very nicely made, but I think the implementation could do with a little bit more tuning. It might be that this will loosen over time and then it will become a bit easier to use. But I suspect for now, even with some of the Chuck It branded products, I suspect it won't release that very easily and won't throw that ball very easily because it snaps a bit too readily into place. So we'll carry on using it. I'm going to test it for another couple of weeks, I think, probably, and see if that does loosen up in use. But uh, that is the Chuck It Sport 14 ball launcher, which comes with the small tennis ball. Hope that's been useful. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you again soon.